Hello, Morobus here. Just a, another quick video on item sorting. So, previously showed you an alter, alternate design that could be used for some overflow protection. Downside is it is pretty bulky. Um, I got a reply from. Where's your name? Zap. Tr uh, that's not right. Z <laughs> there we go. Zaptrocity, who has this design, which I actually really liked. Um, it takes care of that overflow problem simply by isolating the two redstone signals. So in this design that's commonly seen, um, it can bleed over into the other redstone. Uh, this design it can't, so each comparator signal's redstone signal is isolated from each other so that they don't interfere with each other. So it's a good alternating design. It's still tileable. You just alternate between one and then the other and then repeat so you can do the exact same thing go on as long as you want and yeah it won't have an overflow problem where the filter items get pulled out so i've been looking for basically a double decker design for my smp lp world so i want something like this and having it as small as possible would be a bonus so i've thrown in his design here it's just a double stacker or there's one and then there's another one built right above it. And then a bunch of hoppers to use as pipelines to get the items where you need to. And I put some of the blocks as slabs so it wouldn't interfere. There's one problem with this design. It's not a huge deal. Um, when the system does clog up, uh, you will get items stuck in the hoppers. And they will basically never come out until you can manually take them out. Because of the torches underneath these hoppers, there's no way to like put a hopper below it that could pull items out of those hoppers uh, so when these guys get filled up if they have a full inventory I guess I should use spider eyes if they have a full inventory once there is room so now there is room in the inventory so they do have a place to go but they're not going to go anywhere if we do introduce some spider eyes into the system, which way are these pipes going? They're going that way. So if I throw some spider eyes in, they will still get filtered through. Oh. The torch like burning out. <laughs> they will still get filtered through and make their way to the front. But because um this design, it only unpowers this block for a second, or a very short, like a tick, I think, that it only lets out one item at a time. So it doesn't allow all these items to kind of flood out. And that's interesting, I hadn't seen that before. Why it was doing that, unless I got something wrong. Interesting. So yeah, uh, not a huge deal. And like Zaptrocity said, we were chatting in his comments on his video. Um, if you got that many items going through your system, it's probably not a big deal if you got a, some stacks that get stuck in there. And one solution is to just make sure you have something else clogging up the other four spots. So at least you only get one stack that gets stuck in there. Probably don't want to use iron, but you know what, I, what we mean. Anyway, but I was playing around. I like the idea of this one here, where it has the torch in the back. And then it's just this repeater that's powering this one block. So even with this design here, there's still a, a, it's kind of a problem because it is a torch. It's powering this block, so this guy's depowered. You get, or he's powered, so you get an item always stuck in there. But he also powers this one, and that's why that item is stuck in there. So you're actually powering both of these hoppers. And for my use, it's, I can't really. Usually, you can just pipe it forward to avoid the torch, or there's designs where the torch is underneath. But yeah. Uh, so it's kind of annoying having the torch there. If you don't have the torch, if you just have the repeater, like this guy, which is the one I like, if that torch isn't in our way, you can actually have a a hopper down below, and then you don't have to worry about items getting stuck in there. So even if that guy's not able to push them down, this guy is still able to grab them out. So there will always be the ability to pull items out once the system becomes unloaded. So once space is available, any items that were in the hoppers will filter their way out. So I played around and I tried to come up with a similar idea that Zeptrocity had here. 
if I said your name right, having kind of two alternating patterns that wouldn't interfere with each other and that wouldn't have a torch at the end. And I've come up with this thing. It's a bit bigger. Uh, this guy is, if we ignore, well, I guess if we include the hoppers, it's one, two, three, four, five. And if we don't include the block that's on, it's one, two, th uh, three high or four high with the redstone. This one is, I think, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then again, if we don't include the block that it's on, one, two, three, four, five. So it is, I think, one block taller. And what, two blocks deeper? Or wait, one, two, three, four, five. And one block deeper. So one block longer, one block taller. So it's a bit bigger, which could be a downside, or is a downside. But it doesn't have the problem where items can't be pulled out, so long as you have a hopper in this location here to be able to pull items out of that. And it's using, yeah, a very similar idea. Now it does, it's more expensive as well. Each row consists of a comparator, two redstone, a torch, and two repeaters. Now this is also the maximum amount of delay you can have in the system that I've found. If you have any more than the two ticks from the repeater and the tick from the torch, it will actually pull out two items every time. So if we add, like I think a delay there, and I put a colon there, it pulls out both items. So that's kind of the maximum amount of delay we can have and still have it function properly. And yeah, so use the same idea of trying to get the torches somewhere in the back and have a repeater or something pointing into this guy to power him. And this is what I got. So same idea here, just modified that kind of his with the tor or the redstone dust to a torch, except now I'm powering it over here instead of below to get this signal down here and not interfere with the signal over there. And then that powers that block here, which powers this redstone dust, which goes into this repeater, which powers this block, which powers that hopper. The other side, got the comparator powering this block, powers these two guys here. And once the signal strength gets to two, it powers the block, which the repeater will pull the power from that block to power this block to depower this torch, which will unpower this block, which will turn off the repeater to unpower that hopper. So yeah, um, it's, I don't know, it's up to you really. I guess it depends on what you're doing. For me, I might try to incorporate that just for the the fact of not having to worry about any items getting stuck in the system. But it depends how much size or space you have available. So it kind of depends on, yeah, what sorting works for, for you. But I thought this might be an also... Another alternative, so thanks for Zatosity, and I'll link him down below, so check him out. And check out the video, he goes over his design, and then he also has some other stuff in that video too that you might be interested in. Other ways of introducing items into a system, some stuff with minecart hoppers and the like. And I've been told there's still timing issues with hoppers, but I haven't seen it. Like I've had, I've never seen this fail since I think 10WB or something or 10WA, I've always gone to 50-50 split. And if, as long as you're introducing the items into the side and not like um, through the top, I've never had a problem with it going over chunk borders or anything like that. But it may maybe there are still problems that I haven't come across yet. But you can always introduce the items into the sorter, however you like, water or droppers and all that stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.